Hello everyone, Denise here. Today I'm going to show you how to make the stitch in the round for Paying It Forward Friday for September 2023. This is the Spiffy Cabled Cowl. This is Loops and Threads Charisma Acrylic Yarn and we will probably only need one depending on how big you want to make your cowl, but you can use any yarn and any hook. I am going to use an eight millimeter. That's what this yarn calls for. And I will give you the specs on the yarn. So this is Loops and Threads Charisma yarn. This has been out for a while. Uh, this colorway is new to me though. This is a uh, bulky weight five, 109 yards, 3.5 ounces, 100 meters, 100 grams. 109 yards uh, doesn't seem like a lot when you're looking at it, but it's bulky weight, so it works up quickly. It calls for an 8 millimeter hook or a USL 11. This color is Strawberry Multi. Got some purple pink hues in there, some gray, some cream. Uh, just really pretty, like white, a whitish off-white maybe. So uh, Charisma yarn has been around for a while. I don't know how long, but I know I have used it in the past. The prints that they have come out with, with, uh, I believe it's called Impeccable. Yeah, Impeccable. They're, they're really pretty. They're stripes and stuff. But this is two ply bulky weight yarn that is twisted together. This is very, very, very similar to Serenity Chunky. So if you haven't used the Loops and Threads Charisma, very, very, very similar to Serenity Chunky. I think it's made the same exact way. I don't know if it's the same yarn, but it's definitely made this in the same manner. It is 100% acrylic. So you can see the colors in there. They are gorgeous. Super light pink, super light purple, and then they're twisted with the extra strands. See, this one has the gray, and then this one has a white and pink and purple and white. It's just so pretty. So I'm going to start with a slip knot, and then I'm going to chain multiples of 14 plus 6. And then whatever multiples you want, 14 plus 6, you chain. And then I will show you how to work the pattern in the round. If you are interested in looking at the pattern flat, then I have a tutorial for a washcloth or spa cloth or prayer cloth uh, on my video playlist, Paying It Forward Friday. It is for September, the stitch flat. You will see that it is made with one color so if you have a problem following the pattern with the colored, different colored yarn, go ahead and take a look at my other video and then follow my instructions on working in the round. Okay, I have all that sorted out. So I'm going to drop my camera a little bit so that you can see my hands using a clover eight millimeter or an L. I'm going to start with a slip knot and then you chain multiples of 14. Once you get your multiple of 14, add six. I'm going to chain probably 40 some. So one, two, three, four, chain loosely. Five, six, seven, eight. What do we got now? That is large enough to go over your head. Definitely. Definitely, definitely. And I want it to be a gator style. So a gator style would hug your neck. It would be like a neck warmer or uh, how you would envision a turtleneck to fit your neck. Or you could make one large cowl size that would hang down more loosely on your collarbone area. So it's up to you. I have three sets of 14 here. 
I feel like I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at that. I'm gonna add my six now. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now we're gonna join in the round. So we're gonna look at our work, make sure all of these V's are facing us. And that way we're not twisting our chain. Just make sure they're all facing you, following up. Then at the end, slip your hook in and pull through to slip stitch. You can double check your chain by holding it out. And if you are pulling it and making sure it is not twisted, it should all look uniform all the way around. So we're going to start with a chain two. That's not a stitch. I'm just going to use it as a filler for this round. So we're going to put a double crochet in that same spot right there. Okay. And then we're going to put a double crochet in each stitch all the way around. Easy peasy. I'll meet right back up with you once I get all my double crochets done. Sometimes people get confused when they're working in the round and they come to a part in their foundation chain that it looks like this. So it looks like it is turned and twisted. It's not. So if you take a look at your work, it, let's say we're just holding it and you're looking at it and you're like, wait, this is twisted. It's not. Uh, just take a better look at it and turn it like this and you will see that it is not twisted. So if you're just working along and you're just putting the hook in anywhere, you can end up twisting your chain even if you didn't twist it to begin with. So just pay attention. If you don't work in the round often, you want to make sure that your work is always a V facing you and not the bump like this. Otherwise you will end up twisted even if you weren't twisted to begin with. So make sure you're going into the V's because sometimes we go in that back bump and we don't realize that we're doing it and then it twists our whole chain. So just be aware of that if you ever have problems doing projects in the round and getting your chain twisted. That's a surefire way to make sure you stay on track. 48 stitches is what I have. That is the 14 and that would be times three and then plus our six stitches. So 48 stitches for me using bulky weight five and an eight mm hook. Ignore this chain two. Slip stitch into the top of your double crochet here. Okay, and we're ignoring this. Please ignore this. We're just doing that so that it was a filler and not something that we're going to work into. All right, so we're going to chain one here. And in the first two stitches, one and two, we're just gonna do a double crochet, normal double crochet. Okay, and the next stitch, which would be this one, because this would be one and two that we worked into. This one, we're gonna do a front post double crochet. And how we do that is we yarn over. Instead of going here like we normally would for a double crochet, we're gonna go around the post in front. We're gonna pull up a loop. We're gonna yarn over and we're gonna finish that like a normal double crochet. Yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. Okay, now we're gonna do that one more time in our next stitch right here. Yarn over, go around the post of the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. Two front post double crochets, okay? Now we're gonna work two regular double crochets. So we look at our work, we went into the stitch, we're not gonna bother with that one. So we need to go in this one and this one. Two regular double crochets. 
just like we always would do them. Okay, now we're going to do a front post treble crochet. So we yarn over twice and we're going to look at our work. These two were worked into, so we're going to ignore them. Now we're going to skip two stitches, one and two. We are going to work in this third stitch right here. And we're going to go around the post just like we did for the front post double crochet, except this is a triple or treble. So we're going to go in like this, do the same thing, yarn over and pull up a loop. Now we have four loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over and go through two until we have just the one left. Now we're going to do that one more time right here. Yarn over twice. Go around that stitch, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. Okay, so now we have two skip stitches here, one and two, because these are worked in and these are worked in. So we're going to work in this stitch right here and then in this one after we're done with this one. So we're going to do the same stitch that we just did in those two, but in these two. So yarn over twice. If you need to move your work and hold it a different way, you're more than welcome to. I usually grab my post stitch like this. Then I go into it and I pull up a loop. Yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, go through two. We have one more hiding back there we need to go around. Yarn over twice. Put it around the post there, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. Those are our cabling stitches. That's as easy as it gets. So instead of going in the top of a stitch like this, you just go around the post and we end up cabling them by the way they're turning. So now we're going to do two normal double crochets. We worked in the stitch, so we're not working in that one. So we need to do it in this one and in this one. Two regular double crochets. One. And two. Now we're going to do two front post double crochets. So we look at our stitches because if you don't look at your stitches, often you will get lost in them. So we worked in this one and we worked in this one. Now we're going to work around this one and that one. So yarn over, worked in that one, worked in that one, going to work in this one. Yarn over, pull up, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. Do that one more time right here. Yarn over, go around the post, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. Now we're going to do two regular double crochets. One, two. Now that is our stitch pattern. That That is one whole set of stitch patterning. Okay, we're going to repeat that as many times as you did multiples of 14 plus your six. So we're going to start off with our two regular double crochets. Then we're going to do two front post stitches. Remember, don't work in the ones you already worked in. Front post double crochet. Front post double crochet. Two more regular double crochets. One and two. Now we're going to do our cabling stitches. Yarn over twice, skip two stitches, and go into the third. Around the post, pull up, go through two, go through two, go through two. Next stitch over, yarn over twice, go around. Turn over, pull up, go through two, go through two, go through two. We're going to do our two skipped stitches right here. 
Turn over twice. Grab that one. I'm going to go around the post. It's very easy to do with this yarn because it's so bulky. Next one, yarn over twice. Go around. Pull through two each time until there is one loop on your hook. Looking at your work, don't go in this stitch. Next two, regular double crochet. One and two. Next two are front post double crochets. Don't go into the ones that you've worked. Go around the next one. And then again. Now we're going to do two regular double crochets. One and two. And then we repeat it all over again. <laughs> so two normal double crochets. Two front post double crochets. Two normal double crochets. Cabling section. Skip the first two double crochets. One and two were already worked in, so we're skipping one and two. We're going to go around this one. Yarn over twice. Go around the post. Yarn over, pull up. Go through two, go through two, go through two. One more time, yarn over twice, around that post, yarn over, pull up, through two, through two, and through two. Now we're going to work in the two skipped stitches, one and two right there. Yarn over twice, find your first stitch, hold on to it, go around that post, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Find your next stitch, yarn over twice, Round, go through two, go through two, go through two. Two regular double crochet next. One and two. Two front post double crochet. Worked in and worked in. Ignore them. Go into the next two. Front post double crochet. Front post double crochet. Now we have two stitches left. We need to do two regular double crochet. And we have made it around to the beginning. See, that's not so hard. Now we need to slip stitch into the beginning here at the top of our first double crochet. And let's take a look at it, okay? So each section you have two regular double crochets, two front post, two regular cabling section, two regular, two front, two regular. That's your 14 stitches. That's going to be your repeat all the way around, each and every round. But the second round here, we're going to change it up just a little bit on our cabling here. Everything else is going to stay the same. So just chain one here. Now we're gonna do two regular double crochets, just like we were. Regular and regular. We're gonna do two front post stitches, just like we've been doing, except now they stick out at you. So it's really easy to tell where you need to put them. So front post double crochet, front post double crochet, Two regular double crochet. Now we're to our cabling section. On our cabling section, we can't just crisscross, criss, criss, criss all the time. We can't do that, or it's going to look like a jumbled mess. So, one round, this round, we twist up. The next round that we go around, 
we stay even. So in these four cabling stitches that we have right here, what we're going to do is we're going to put a front post double crochet in each of those. Really easy, you just have to find them. So looking at your work, you can see the two in front. That's pretty easy to see. But to find the back two, you need to move that work over just a smidge. And then you see them. So we're just going to work them as we see them. So we're going to start with this one, and then this one, and then this one, and then this one. So yarn over, go around this post right here. Finish like a normal double crochet. Find your second one because it's hiding. Yarn over, go around that post. Make sure you're just going around the post. Yarn over and finish like a normal double crochet. Now we're going to go into the next one. Yarn over, go around your stitch, finish like a normal double crochet. And one more time. Okay, and then we have two regular double crochets. And then we have two front post double crochets. And two more regular double crochets and that finishes out our 14 stitch repeat. So we start it over again. Two regular double crochets. Two front post double crochets. Two regular double crochets. Then we got our cabling section, and that's where we're, where we're going to do four front post double crochets as we see them. One, two, three, and four. And then two regular double crochets. Two front post double crochets. And two regular double crochets. And then we repeat it all over again. Two regular. Two front post double. Two regular. Four front post double. Remember, they're hiding, so find them, those two first. And then the next two. Two regular. Two front post doubles, and two regular. This works out so quickly. Slip stitch to the top of your 
first double crochet. And then we're gonna chain one and we're going to continue. As you continue, you will see your stitches twist in first in the first round, straighten in the second round. So that's the repeat. You twist and straighten, twist and straighten. We're gonna do that all the way up. It is so gorgeous, I love it. It's very easy. It's a simple two round repeat pattern super easy. So I'm going to show you this next round and going into these stitches is no different than going into your first round that you did. They just seem a little smaller, but it's the same way. So chain one, regular and regular, one regular double crochet, one regular double crochet, two front post double crochets. So one, and two. Now two regular. One and two. And now we're to our cabling. So last round we straightened. This time we're twisting. So yarn over twice. Skip your first two and go into this one. Now make sure you're not going around this one, okay? Make sure you're going into the top front post double there. Finish like a normal treble. Yarn over twice. Do the next one. Way up at the top here, not down on the bottom where it's twisting. Yarn over twice. Go to your first skipped front double crochet there. Go around that one. Then find your next one, yarn over twice, and go around that one. Two regular double crochets. Two front post double crochets. Two regular double crochets. And then that is the repeat. You start all over again. Two regular double crochets. Two front post. And we can go on and on and on. This is a very quick project using a number five yarn. Super fast. If you need something different and you're bored of everything that you've been doing, for craft fairs, for selling items. This is a great project because not only is it fast and easy for you with a bulky yarn here, but it looks super complicated. Like it looks so complicated to people who don't know that it's not. And it is beautiful no matter you can have patterning yarn, self-striping yarn, plain yarns, one color yarns, yarns like this that um, are self-striping all the way up. See how gorgeous that is? How could you not look at that and think that is so pretty and wanna buy that? So beautiful. Really like the colorway of this yarn. This is actually going to be a gift for my mother-in-law. So hopefully she's not watching my channel and finding out her presence. Super easy repeat here. And then we start all over again. And you will just get in the hang of doing it. You won't even think about it because you can read your stitches as you keep going up. And it's, for the most part, worked in twos. Two regular, two fronts, two regular, and then the cabling stitches that's four. Oops, I'm going to mess up.
when you have the cabling mastered and you're feeling like you could do this over and over and over, try making one of these. Try making one of these uh, using a smaller hook, one hook size down. So this one, if I dropped a hook size, I'd go down to a seven. Uh, what that will do, it will make your stitches pop more and it will make less of a gap behind your cabling. But I thought it looked fine uh, the way it is right now. But go ahead and try to drop down to a uh, hook size smaller. Usually when you do cabling, it's just a good rule of thumb. I didn't suggest it for this project because I think this would be a great first cabling project. If you don't want to start one in the round, go ahead and start with my washcloth tutorial. A slip stitch into the top of your double crochet. This next round, you'll see you twisted earlier, so you will straighten out this round. Chain one, regular, regular. Front post double, front post double. Okay, so I love this yarn. I love this colorway. I think it is so pretty. It is so pretty. I don't know if it shows up in the camera as I see it, but it is just lovely. I just love it. I am about halfway through my ball here. So probably about this high it's going to get. It's a, I mean, it's a one ball project, guys. You don't need bigger than that. If you are doing the loose version to where it hangs down more on your collarbone, uh, you would need more than one ball, but this is a one ball project. So a while back, I did a granny square with one ball of bloom. I think it was in the color dragonfly. Um, I was testing out my yarn keeper or yarn stand from Michaels and you can use this as a one ball project for bloom. If you have a ball of bloom laying around, that is bloom chunky from Premier. I have the large one, so I'll show it to you. But this in this pattern would be so, so pretty. I might have to make one up just to see what it looks like because I can't even imagine how gorgeous that would be. This is the big bloom chunky, but they, they sell smaller ones. One of those is going to make one of these because this only has 109 yards in it. So if you have the standard size Serenity chunky ball, guess what? They're 109 yards. So take one of the blooms that you have, make up this cowl. I mean, if you just have a random ball of number five yarn laying around, make this cowl. You can do this. You can do this. I believe in you. So if I have time, I'm going to make one up with the bloom that I just showed you. 
And if you have the bigger ones, like I just showed you, uh, you can get a hat out of it too. And I will be bringing you a hat tutorial of this pattern as well. So if you don't want to make a hat and you don't want to make a cowl, go take a look at my paying it forward Friday stitch flat and you can make a regular scarf. You can make a shawl, you can make a blanket, you can do whatever you want because I am showing you how to do this stitch flat and in the round. And I will bring you the hat tutorial very, very soon because I'm making this set for my mother-in-law and she's getting a hat and a cow. So I'm going to continue working and I will come back to you once my cow is done, not going to take me long. And I will tell you its measurements when I am done. Okay. So I'm going to keep working, going to keep recording and I'll see you in a minute. Let's measure. Right now my cowl is six inches tall. And this is lay, laid flat. So it's about 24 inches in circumference. So if you want to, put a reverse single crochet edging all the way around this like I did on the washcloth. You sure can do that. So how you would do that is you would chain one, go into the stitch behind, put your hook in like this, grab up a loop, and finish the single crochet. This is reverse single crochet. Some people call it crab stitch. In this next stitch, hook in, finish like a normal single crochet is what we did on the washcloth as well. Going into the stitch behind, it's in reverse. And you just go in every single stitch all the way around and then your finished cowl is going to have that beautiful edging on it. That is really, really pretty. I'm going to do the other side in reverse single crochet so it matches this beautiful side. I started back here, so I'm going to start back here on this one as well. I have this much yarn left. I hope I get all the way around. Pretty sure I will. Okay. It's done. I love this cowl. I love this pattern. I love everything about this. I'm going to put it on my mannequin and show you. There it is. You can see that it's going to stand up really nice as you're wearing it. So it's going to keep you nice and warm. Simply stunning. I love this. So go out and make yourself a ton of these. Sell them at craft fairs, one ball project, all those one ball yarns that you have laying around that you got clearanced at Hobby Lobby, Joanne, Michaels, all of the places. <laughs> go, go grab your one ball and make this cowl. I think you're going to love it. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time.